I think that by now you're probably starting to see things a little bit differently and your eyes are doing a little bit more dancing and you can see how light hits an object and um, you're probably noticing cast shadows and you're noticing colors and um, hopefully the world around you is becoming um, just a little bit more beautiful. So today we're gonna, we're gonna work with photographs because we do it often enough and we use them for reference. So we're gonna work with this photograph of these beautiful sunflowers and I did three value sketches. I did them on an iPad uh, because I find it really fun and easy to do it that way. You can also use these, these are four value, six, six values of pens that Farber Castle makes and they're kind of fun to play around with too. You could do that. You can use pencil and a heavier stroke but you've been doing these for a little while now, so you know how to do your four value sketches. In this first one, it's pretty close to what I see in the photograph. I left some of the noise in the background out because it's unimportant. The focus is the flower. Uh, this is a fairly medium key painting. By key, I mean the level of light in the overall painting. So you can have a very high key painting that has lots of light, and you can have a very low key painting, which is mostly darker in its overall state. And this first one is kind of a medium key. Um, and I wanna pick one or the other. I wanna go a little bit more in either direction, I think. So this is a grayscale value view finder. This is a, uh, an inexpensive little tool and it can, be, it can be helpful when you're out in the field too and you're sort of overwhelmed by everything that's going on out there. You can hold this up to an object and, and sort of see where it lies in that, in that scale. If we lay it down by the painting, this is obviously a lower key. Um, this is the one I decided I'm gonna paint today. I like, the, I like the darker key and I think the sunflowers are gonna be super in there. And there's lots of opportunity to lose edges as you will see off here and off here. And also notice con the connected darks like we've talked about in our other notans. The darks kind of run right through here. They're connected. That's keeping the eye in the canvas, in the painting. It's my job to compose this image. It's my joy to compose this image. The other thing we're gonna do is uh, be mindful of the color harmony that we're working with. I'm gonna use a triadic harmony. I haven't done that one in the class. So the harmony that I'm going with here is uh, sort of a reddish purple, an orange, and a green. That's the triangle on my color wheel. I'm gonna mix up all my colors, I'm gonna sketch out light and shadow, and then we'll slow down a little bit and we'll talk about how you bring it to the finish by losing some edges and exaggerating texture in certain areas and dropping color and line and stroke and all that fun stuff. So I've got it on the canvas where I want it to be. I'm gonna lay some of my darkest darks in. into my sunflowers right now. I have orange here in my shadow. If I want a lighter color, I'm gonna use yellow to lighten it rather than white to lighten it, just to you know, maintain a little more power in that color. You might notice how I'm holding my brush. Hold it loosely so you can roll it. I'm loading that brush with color and I'm laying it in there. 